For this project, we need a 5 mm crochet hook, 4 ply acrylic yarn, 1 uh, flat pearl, and 12 inches for the stem, 22 gauge wire, hot glue gun, and scissors. With white color, start by making one slip knot on the hook, like this, and then chain 53, one, two, three, four, five. Beginning in the second chain from the hook, we are going to make one single crochet in each uh, chain across. At the end, we should have 52 single crochets. And now we are going to make five chains. One, two, three, four, and five. And we are going to turn. And in the first stitch here, make one double crochet. We're going to skip one and two, and in the next, make one double crochet, one, two, and three chains, and go back to the same space and make one more double crochet. Skip one and two, and in the next, one double crochet, one, two, and three chains, go back to the same space and make one more double crochet. Skip two stitches, make one double crochet, three chains, and one more double crochet into the same space. You are going to continue repeating this all the way across. We are going to finish making a uh, one B stitch here in the last stitch, and we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen of these uh, B stitches. Chain two and turn, and we are going to make eight double crochets here in the chain three space. Okay, we have two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Here in between uh, the these uh, two stitches, make one slip stitch. Go to the next uh, three three chain loop and make eight double crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. A slip stitch in between these two uh, stitches here. And you are going to make four more of these petals with the white color. And then we are going to change it to the pink color. I have six petals. And I already cut the white color. I will finish the, I will make the slip stitch uh, joining the new color. And we are going to be hiding these ends here. Okay, we're going to make eight double crochets in this 
chain three space two four six and eight okay one slip stitch in between these uh, two stitches here one two three four five six seven and eight double crochets make one slip stitch here in between these two stitches and you are going to continue repeating all the way to the end i have two four six and eight for the last pedal and here we are going to chain two and we're going to make one slip stitch here on top of the second chain we're going to make one chain and we're going to cut the yarn uh leaving enough um yarn uh to sew the rows And this is what we have. And we're going to be making this part next. And for that, we're going to make one magic circle. Chain two. And we are going to be making 15 double crochets into the magic circle. One. two, three, four, five, make 10 more double crochets. Uh, pull this to close the magic circle, but do not close it all, all the way because we need the space here to insert the, the stem. Now make one slip stitch here on top of the first double crochet made for the second round we are going to be making one single crochet in each stitch around at the end we should have 15 single crochets a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet now we're going to make a total of seven chains one two three four five six and seven we are going to skip the first one and the second one and in the third make one single crochet half double crochet in the next and double crochet in the next three chains one two and three we are going to skip two stitches this is uh, the stitch with the where we going with the slip stitch so skip this one and this one and then in the third make one slip stitch chain seven again skip the first two chains and in the third one single crochet half double crochet in the next and double crochet in the next three chains. Skip two stitches and in the third, make one slip stitch. You are going to repeat this three more times. And when you are done, just make one slip stitch here where we uh, begin. And you can cut. And 
now we're going to make the leaves start by making one slip knot on the hook and then we are going to chain nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine Beginning in the second chain from the hook, make one single crochet. Half double crochet in the next. One double crochet in the next. And in the next, we are going to make one increase with double crochet. One double crochet in the next uh, chain, half double crochet in the next, single crochet in the next, and in the last, we're going to make a total of three single crochets one, two, and three. If you want, you can place a marker here in the second one. Okay, working in the opposite side one single crochet in the first stitch available half double crochet one double crochet and one increase with double crochets one double crochet in the next stitch half double crochet in the next and in the last one single crochet we are going to slip stitch here to join and for the last round we're going to add the wire just place it right here between the hook and the jerk one chain go back to the same space and make one single crochet and we are going to continue making one single crochet all the way to the top here i have nine single crochets and in the next make one single crochet two chains and make one slip stitch taking these two loops here Go back to the same space and make one more double one one more single crochet and finish making one single crochet in each stitch to the end A slip stitch to join one chain and we can cut the turn And we need a tapestry needle as well. I have it right here. So this is where we finish. And this is where we when we are going to start rolling the rows like this. And when this uh, leftover, we're going to go through all the layers here.
place the yarn like this, add hot glue, and we are going to start wrapping the stem like this. I will take my measuring tape and mark here six inches. Now we'll continue wrapping my stem until I get to the mark. I will attach two leaves for this um, rose. Add hot glue to help um, stick this um, two leaves to the to the stem and continue wrapping uh, the stem all the way down. Add hot glue at the end here and finish it. Okay, the next step is going to pass the this part here, and we are going to attach the stem to the rows and for that place enough hot glue in the center and now just insert the stem here and let it dry and for this end here, just make sure to make a knot here. And you can cut a little piece. Okay, now we're going to add hot glue in this part. And just Place it like this. And now make sure to add enough of the hot glue here right in the center and place the pattern like this and let it dry. <laughs> Thank you.